Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to return to France and head down to southeastern France, the sort of Marseille region if you like. We're going to taste my second beer today from Brasserie Artisanale du Sud La Griette, a long name for this brewery, but this beer is called Manger Soif and it is a sort of French blanche beer, a sort of blondy French beer if you like. It should be quite interesting. The other beer I had from these guys was really good, but um, as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a very kind of brief history of the company if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward the brewery website is in the description for you below there's the original version in French and the Google translated English version not entirely correct as I'm sure you'll be aware but it does give you the gist of what's going on and there is a link there to my other reviews that I've done from these guys before and hopefully there will be more added to that in the near future I also want to dedicate this beer review to my good friend Adam Kaufman from New Zealand who provided me with this beer he gave me this when I was in Heidelberg last year uh, when he went for, on a trip to France. He was given this by a nice lady in a hostel who found it in a locker so he decided to keep it for me. So a big thank you to Adam for that but without further ado let's actually get on with the review of the beer. So anyway, Brasserie Artisanale du Sud La Gruyette is a small craft artisanal brewery from Nyon in the south of France and as I told you they're from fairly near to Marseille. Now the brewery was founded in 2001 by Fabienne Delorme and Jean-Marc Raffner and they decided that they'd have enough of, had enough of the, the respective careers, if you like, which is the same for a lot of people who go into brewing. But the name La Griette actually means the cricket, and this is to suit their slogan of beers that sing. So the beers have proved to be very popular in southeastern France, and they'll be found mostly between Lyon and Marseille. And this is actually a bit of a shame for French beer, because I've found that the French craft beer really is excellent, but it is very, very difficult to actually get it outside of France. But hopefully that will change in the, in the fairly near future. The, the stuff really is excellent and there's some really good craft breweries and beer shops and stuff so if you do go to France use Rate Beer and find some of these things actually because it really is top notch beer in France but apparently the brewery is one of the few remaining in the country who use fresh yeast and they say that this is a very kind of uh, complicated procedure but it has a huge impact on the flavour and the other beer that I had from La Griette was, was really top notch very good big flavour in it so you will get an idea of that if you try these beers just to list a few of the other beers you can get from uh, La Griette Brasserie. Uh, the brewery produce a few different ones. There's Chante Saveur Brun, there's Cuvée Tradition Beer de Noël, uh, Cuvée Tradition Beer de Printemps, Manger Soif Blanche, uh, the number 7 Cuvée d'Exception, which was the one I reviewed for you last time, uh, Sanger Fête Blonde, uh, Sanger Fête uh, Blanche as well. There's a blonde and a blanche version there, so two different styles of beers. And there's Sanger Fête Ambly as well, a nice amber beer. So this should be quite an interesting beer for us to try. To tell you about the actual style of this one, they say on the website that it's a kind of balance between a wiener, which gives a nice, that gives the beer a nice malty aroma, and um, a traditional pilsner as well, from which it takes 100% of the hops. So it's a sort of mix between a kind of lager beer and uh, a, a more malty sort of golden ale, I guess you could describe it. So the hops in this guy are 100% sats, and uh, the fermentation obviously here uses their own fresh yeast. So a very kind of unique beer this guy is actually so it um, looks very nice I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork on this one before we wire into it so as you can see it's quite nicely presented I'll just tip it up so you can see it properly but there's just a nice kind of old style picture the sort of old style French advertising on it there I actually like that about this beer uh, but you can see a guy just sitting there in the sun and enjoying his beer this is the typical La Griette bottle cap I'm not sure how well you can see that but yeah uh, and there's the symbol on the top of the bottle as well. Uh, it does have just a little bit of writing on the bottom. It says uh, Blanche de Soif, Beer Artisanale et Laverie et Brasserie en Drôme Provincial. Uh, and it tells you a little bit on the bottom as well. Um, de Salteron, c'est blanche de caractère, character, a blonde with character. Uh, Brasserie au petit et portrait drômois. Associe ses saveurs, fruity et épicy. So it's got a kind of, it says it has a kind of fruity flavour with a like slightly acidic finish I believe. My French isn't top notch so excuse me if the translate if the translation's a little bit wrong. But yeah, tells you a little bit about the beer on the brewery on the back in French as well. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this. It's a 4.7% Blanche beer as I told you. A kind of hybrid between a Pilsner and a Wiener beer. So a good bit of maltiness and a sort of a good bit of maltiness kind of golden ale somewhere between a malty golden ale and um, a kind of pilsner beer so this should be quite an interesting one 
for us to try. A kind of hybrid golden ale is maybe the best way to describe this guy if you've never tried a Blanche beer before. But it smells very fresh actually. You can get a big blast of yeast as you pour this guy. It smells very, very nice. So as you can see, it's poured a kind of crystal clear um, orangey golden amber colour. I think you're seeing it mainly as a kind of yellowy colour, but trust me on that, it does have a big orangey note to it. You can see it there. But as you can see, there's a nice half finger of a frothy white head. That's going to fade away quite a lot because it's nice and well carbonated. But the beer looks really good. There's a good bit of bubbles just going up towards the bottom of the glass. I can see a little bit of sediment, just very, very fine particles floating around in the bottom of this guy. But it looks a really nice beer. It is transparent. If I put my fingers behind it, you can kind of see them moving behind it. So it looks really nice, actually. There is a little bit of haze to it, I should say, probably just because of the sediment particles. But yeah, really good looking beer. Some nice carbonation as well. So in terms of the aroma with this guy, big yeasty element to it actually has the kind of Belgian A. It almost smells like a Belgian beer to be honest with you. But a big yeasty element. And I do remember that in the, in the other beer, the number 7 QV Exception. But yeah, it smells really nice. It's a big yeasty flavour that's coming out of this one. There's a good bit of grassy hop coming out of it too. A kind of grassy and citrusy hop. But the main component of the aroma is definitely the yeast. And you've got some kind of grainy cereal element to it as well. It just kind of hits you right at the back of the nose. But there's a bit of kind of, uh, you can definitely pick up a bit of kind of biscuity or sort of caramel malty sweetness in it as well. But it's definitely a kind of grassy and sort of florally aromatic hop in this guy. And a little bit of citrus. It's almost, it does really smell like a sort of Belgian blonde beer if you like. So yeah, it's got all the elements you would expect from that. It smells really nice and really quite sharp actually so without further ado this is the Manger Soif from Brasserie Artisanale du Sud La Griette Slange oh now that is a really interesting beer the first impression on the first sip is that it is a nice more malty beer Yeah, there is a nice um, sort of yeasty blanket that just blankets the middle of the tongue, but there's a really sweet, really nice underlying sort of biscuity, caramelly sweetness to this guy. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, really interesting blend of flavours, this guy. But yeah, it's got a really nice big bready and yeasty malt flavour uh, in this one. But it kind of, it, oh, that comes in at the end. What's really interesting is that it's the caramel malt and the sort of uh, biscuity malts that are pushing their way forward in this. It, it's really beautifully done. It's got this really interesting malt base. Very caramel sweet when you take it in and then it's more of the bread and yeastiness that comes out of it. It's almost a little bit of a kind of honey flavour, this one, but it smells really, really beautiful, actually. Tastes really nice as well, so it's definitely an interesting beer. I've never had one that has this really kind of nice, quite uh, juicy caramel element to it. Really, really beautiful beer. In terms of the mouthfeel with this guy as well, it is actually very light-bodied. To me, it actually feels as if it does have a little tiny bit of alcohol worth, but at 4.7%, not quite sure where I'm picking that up. You've got a nice bit of dryness too, around the edges of the tongue. You're getting a nice mix between a, a kind of citrusy hop in there. There is a definite lemon citrus to it, but you've got some of the lighter grassy notes. But the main component, I should point out, is definitely a sort of florally aromatic element. And what I do remember, that is something that I do remember with the sats hop. If Maybe they're putting a good quantity of it in, because when they, they sort of make the sats the main hop, um, it does have a good grassy and sort of aromatic character to it. It's not one of the more fruity ones, but I mean, this is a really beautiful beer and it's very interesting actually. I'd really love to try some more of their stuff because the two beers I've had from these guys are really top notch. But yeah, in terms of the mouthfeel, it's got a really nice sweetness to it. It's got a very kind of soft carbonation. But it does help it bring out a little bit of the aromatic hops at the end. But it's nice and light bodied, nice kind of 
slightly soft carbonation. It's got a good little bit of oily feel to it as well, but at the same time, it is a very easy drinking beer. And it's got a really big kind of sweet character, I think. Like I said, the caramel malt pushes its way through, and uh, take, and then the yeast just kind of pu like pushes its way through a little bit later on. But you've got a good bit of dryness from the aromatic flavours from the hops as well. So it's very well balanced, and it's a good beer for a kind of nice summer's day, as the label kind of indicates. So overall, it's a really nice beer, and I would say definitely check it out if you get the chance. I mean. As I was telling you in the video, the French craft beer is really awesome. This is a very nice, um, interesting sort of blonde beer, if you like. A sort of mix between a Pilsner and a kind of golden ale, a more malty golden ale. So it's definitely worth checking out. But anyway, um, if you do happen to have tried this beer, please let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know your own thoughts on it in the comments section below. It's been really cool to try this one. But um, I thank you for watching my beer reviews. And please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. There will be more French beer reviews in the future. Hopefully some more from Lagriette, the cricket. Brewery, but um, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I will catch you soon with the next one. Cheers!